Kong is an ultra-modern cosmopolitan hub of Asia. Business gets done in style, the city never sleeps, and if you don't move along with the pace, you're in the way. That can be daunting for the average traveler. Don't worry, Hong Kong is easy to figure out. You just need to know where to go. There's a wealth of options, and I'm going to show you. While it may not look like it on first blush, Hong Kong does have a side where you can appreciate nature and find respite from the hustle and bustle. My first stop is to show you one of my favorite hiking spots. It's a little mainstream, and you may have to brave the crowds. But hey, this is Asia. You gotta go with the flow. This is the ultimate tourist spot. It's the perfect place to bring all of my overseas friends whenever they're in town. So what we're riding on, this is just a seven minute ride to the top and we get a 360 view of Hong Kong. So uh, daytime, nighttime, the view is super different. It's really fun. We got a bunch of restaurants. We have a big mall up there. We even have a Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. So you can basically spend a whole day up there and just have tons of fun. This is the Peak Tram, and it's one of the shortest tram rides you'll ever take. Only seven minutes, but hey, it's not about the journey, it's about the destination. The tram leads to the Peak Tower, which is this funky-shaped building. Once up at the rooftop, the view opens up to the entire expanse of Hong Kong. You may have to nudge your way to the best vantage point. This view is definitely worth the crowds. Now, there's a possibility to get away from the incessant hordes of tourists here. The access way to the Peak Circle Walk is right next to the tower, and immediately you find yourself on a pathway etched into the side of the mountain. Look at that view, without the crowds! This is what I love about Hong Kong. You would never guess that such a serene place is juxtaposed to a big tourist hotspot. It's time to check out a side of Hong Kong that is slowly emerging and making waves, both locally and internationally. Central is a location with a lot of art inspiration for designers and galleries alike. What I love about Central is you get a mixture of everything here. This is the oldest district in Hong Kong, but it's also the most modern. We have bars, we have restaurants, we have art galleries here. It's always fun to visit because you get a bit of everything. Hi, I'm Leslie. Hi, I'm Raymond. Nice Hi, to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. So what's going on here? Wow, this is a, this is a young gallery. This is one of the galleries in Hong Kong. Mr. Fong, the founder of this gallery, um, started this gallery in 1980s. Why do you think Hong Kong is such a great place for art? It, it doesn't really have a big artist, uh, artist community uh, like London or New York. But interestingly, this one is actually a very big market for art. You can see Thorsby's Christie's, they have annual auctions in Hong Kong every year. So all the collectors from different parts of Asia, all across the world, will come to Hong Kong to buy. Mm -hmm. And all the artists and gallerists will present their works in Hong Kong as well. Mm -hmm. So this place is an art market in a sense. Raymond is the organizer of Soho Art Tour, and he's going to take me around a few of the latest happenings on Hong Kong's up-and-coming street art scene. What's the street art culture like here in Hong Kong? Well, Hong Kong doesn't really have a street art culture because, you know, Hong Kong is so efficient. So mm. whenever you paint anything on the wall, you will remove or repaint it. Don't paint it over. Yeah, paint it over <laughs> next day before sunrise. Mm. So this one, as you can see, is actually on the wall of uh, a GLD, which is a home decor store in Hong Kong. Okay, okay. Yeah, so they basically sponsor the entire wall. So that's why they're allowed to paint yes, over this. Yes, because uh -huh. this is actually the wall of, uh, of a store. So it's the perfect Instagram shot. Exactly. Let's take a selfie. What's special about this gallery? Oh, this gallery is actually very unique. So you know, photography has never been a big thing in Hong Kong mm. market, right? So, um, so Dr. Galaki has been a pioneer in terms of promoting photography art. Mm. So these um, pictures you can see here um, are from a Chinese photographer, uh, Zhang Kechun. Mm. So he's actually quite famous for doing all these kind of the landscape alike uh, mm. uh, uh, photography. And as you know, Chinese art is always about ink painting, right, landscape, right, and right. all that in the traditional uh, uh, days, right? Yeah. But he is using photography, which is modern technology, mm. to depict exactly the same thing, landscape. This is what I love about Hong Kong. It's a fairly officious neighborhood, but a visual flair can be found in the right nooks, only if you know where to look. 
staying on the theme of art, there's yet one more surprise in this neighborhood. Welcome to PMQ. PMQ is a fantastic place for local up-and-coming designers to set up shop. You can find out what's trendy in fashion, jewelry, art. It's super fun here. PMQ stands for Police Married Quarters. Back in 1951, this was the living quarters for the Chinese police, the free quarters being an attractive staff benefit. That was the past. Today, it has been revitalized as a hub for creative and design industries. There are shops as far as the eye can see, each one specializing in a particular wear. Fashion accessories to clothing and design services. What I really love is that you can see the artisans working away at their latest creations right on site. Definitely worth a stop if you like artisanal products and supporting local talent. It's been a fun day bouncing around the city.